everybody, this is Dr. Grappa here with Pepper. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to fix the black screen with a cursor on Windows 10. Uh, probably some of you have tried to upgrade to Windows 10 in the past few days, but apparently reach a black screen with a mouse on it, with uh, the cursor only. Uh, that occurs uh, mostly due to some uh, graphics issues, or sometimes you might even uh, boot up Windows 10 once, install your graphics drivers or not install them, and when you reboot, you have a black screen with uh, the cursor on. This occurs due to a graphics uh, driver glitch in Windows 10, which I'm going to be showing you how to fix right now. So uh, what you want to do first is uh, you have to get yourself a 4 gigabytes plus USB, preferably 8 or more. Um, then what you want to do is uh, head over to the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool uh, page and download the software. Uh, I have the link in the description, you guys can get it. Now once you have the software, what you want to do is actually install it and plug in your USB and create a Windows 10 installation USB through the tool. It's really easy, nothing hard in that part. After you have created the USB through probably another computer or some, or even your own if you're on Windows 8 for now, uh, what you want to do is uh, head over to your BIOS. Uh, you can usually get into BIOS hitting either F10, F12, Escape or F2 keys. And uh, once you're inside, you want to go to the boot order and uh, set the USB as uh, number one boot priority. Then once you have done that, what you want to do is uh, <clears throat> restart your computer and boot through the USB stick. Now once you have booted through the USB stick, you will probably be presented with uh, this screen over here. It uh, doesn't matter what settings you have over here, what you want to do is get to this screen over here. You hit next and you get over here. Now once you are on this screen where it says install now or repair your computer, what you want to do is actually hit repair your computer. Now uh, we assume that you already have Windows 10 installed in order to uh, go over here and hit repair your computer. Now once you have done that, you want to go to troubleshoot. Uh, after that, what you want to do is uh, go to Advanced Options. And once you're in Advanced Options, what you want to do is go to the Command Prompt uh, option. Then you will be presented with a screen with the Command Prompt. First, you want to enter uh, the commands, which I'm going to be, which uh, I'm going to say now. Uh, I have them also linked in the description. Check that out. It's from thomasharvard.co.uk. Uh, first, you want to enter C uh, and then hit Enter. And then type in this command over here, BC BCD edit slash set, uh, curly braces, default curly braces, boot menu policy, uh, legacy. And then hit enter. You will probably be greeted with uh, this message over here, the operation completed successfully. Once you have done that, uh, you, what you want to do is uh, perform an ACPI shutdown. Now, uh, don't do that by just... Uh, exiting the command prompt and uh, hitting continue to windows or anything else uh, hold down your computer's power button and um, for about like 10 seconds and once that is done uh, remove your USB and uh, start up your computer now uh, once uh, you have started your computer once you hit the power button uh, start mashing the F8 key. Just hit it, hit it, and hit it again in order to be presented with the uh, safe mode menu, which is over here. Uh, now, once you're greeted with this screen, what you want to do is uh, select option, which is safe mode with networking, and hit enter. Now, uh, you will uh, boot into a safe mode version of Windows 10, which will actually look like my desktop right now. And uh, I will show you how to uh, get uh, how to get past that uh, black screen. Now, uh, once uh, now, what you want to do is open up your start menu and uh, search for device manager. And there you go. Open up your device manager. There you go. And under display adapters, you will probably have two adapters. It will have your graphics card, which is probably your either NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, and your integrated graphics, which can either be Intel or AMD. Now, what you want to do is disable your uh, integrated graphics uh, card, which uh, in my case is the Intel one. And uh, as you can see, I have it disabled. 
and uh, leave enabled only your discrete graphics card which is uh, the nvidia one in my case or the amd in someone else's case uh, once you have done that you're free to reboot your computer and uh, you will probably uh, bypass that black screen with uh, the with the cursor uh, keep in mind that this tutorial only applies uh, to computers that actually have a discrete graphics card and not uh, just uh, an integrated graphics uh, system well, I hope this video uh, helped some of you. Uh, please like and subscribe for more awesome videos. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next one.